so in this short quick video I'm going to talk about the lesson plan template that I've created that can be used when you are preparing your lessons especially in sciences now how does it work we know that lesson plans is one of the most challenging professional documents to prepare and one of the reasons why it is uh, it is this difficult is with the with the certain things which have been able to automate for example, let me go straight to this uh, template and you see how easy it is to use. So to start with, I've prepared this lesson plan uh, template document using Microsoft Word. And in order to launch it, you will go to view and then you'll go to navigation pane. You click it on and a neat navigation appears on the left hand side. So. On the left hand side you have the major headings which is form 1, form 2, form 3 and uh, form 4. There is an arrow here which prompts you to expand that particular tab. So if you click on it, it's going to expand to reveal topics. Let me just collapse this so that I move step by step in order for you to be able to understand. So you can see when I clicked form one, it expanded the topics for form one all the way up to the 10th topic. I've designed it in such a way that it gives you 10 topics in form one. Again, you can see in each topic, it can be able to expand. Again, when I click that arrow there, it expands that first topic showing now the actual lesson plans that you can be able to prepare here. For example, in topic number one usually this is introduction to physics as far as my subject is concerned but if that is what i'm interested in i'll just click on it and the topic number one pops up here and i can be able to enter that topic there which is introduction to physics so i'll enter that in uh, uppercase introduction to physics and uh, that is done so I can do anything to with this topic and can make it bold I can underline for the time being I will just leave it at that because it occupies a full page but below here I can write more information about this particular topic on this page now when it go it comes to subtopics I will simply go to the concepts I click on that and this uh, table appears here that now prompts me to enter the various items in my lesson planning at the top of the page uh, I will double click here and you can see the moment I click on it I'm prompted to enter the name of the school so let me enter the name of my school I want to use uh, this so so that is the space where you enter the name of your school now immediately below here I leave it so that you can enter any other thing that you might be interested in now when it comes to the concept you can double click here and it becomes active now you can enter the subtopic. Maybe the subtopic is physics as a science because that is the first subtopic when we are looking at introduction to physics. So physics as a science. And then you click on here and you can see uh, you enter the form which is form one and that one is done. And then over here, you're going to click on that and you choose your subject and that will be physics you can edit that if you want you just need to click these three dots here in order to highlight everything and then you go up there you can make it bold you can change its color whatever you want to do you can even increase the font size maybe make it 12 or even 13 depending on what you want over here when you come here you can now enter your class maybe I want to go to one 
east just like that one east the number of learners I, I have there is let's say 54 students and again I can be able to edit that the way I feel can change the color of that and the font and so forth at this point this is where I'm prompted to enter the date when I'll be teaching the subject so I'll just click here and there is this calendar and I can okay I can click today but today I know it's a Saturday maybe I need to teach that one on Monday so remember when you click today it gives today's date so that when it comes to choosing uh, the days ahead it becomes easier so always click today and then from there you click it again so that now you can go and choose the date when you want to teach this subject maybe I want to teach uh, this uh, lesson on Monday which will be on third so I just click that and that is when I'll be teaching that lesson of course the teacher as a teacher you enter your name there it's always important that you do that so I'll enter my name there just in case I have to print this document it will appear very neat let me change this one also to uh, black and that is the way it appears again here I can repeat that information um, about introduction to physics because that is the topic that I'm talking about and you can see that each and every time I type over here that information appears here for example introduction to physics the moment I typed it it appeared there when I came to updating the actual lesson plan you can see when I typed uh, physics as a science it appears here so those information the the subtopic and the topic when you type them they will always appear here this is important because in future it will allow you to identify the subtopic whose lesson plan you want to update because this lesson plan template helps you to update this information from one year to the next you don't have to rewrite everything you just need to write it once and for all now when it comes to this particular concept here what I can do is to come and select this up to that point then copy when I come here I will paste it as plain text and when I do that it enters there automatically now let's look at the objectives I've already given you this sentence so that you don't have to struggle a lot rewriting it by the end of the lesson the learner should be able to you put your cursor there then you press the the arrow that faces to the right in order to move out of that box and then you press enter so that you can create some space here where you can be able to write your objectives if there are more than one you can use bullets let us say by the end of the lesson the learner should be able to define physics I want to write this one in define physics if there is another objective I just click enter and another bullet is created there for now that is all that I would want there the good thing about this you can see that when you want to type something inside here the spaces expand allowing you to enter as much details as you want preliminary skills and knowledge that when you enter there the introduction to the lesson you enter there lesson development and even the conclusion that you're going to draw and then you write down uh, you quote the references from where you got your materials from then finally on the remarks column you will wait until you teach the lesson that is when you will enter the remarks here that way when you click save over here that lesson plan now will be saved 
and you can use it in a subsequent year but uh, when that time comes all you need to do is just go to the lesson plan and make changes this time you do not have to prepare it from scratch another thing you can be able to do is simply go to print over here because you want to print that page in order to put it in the file or something like that for those who might want to do that you you click on print when you're here you don't want to print all the pages otherwise if you did that this document has to go 255 pages uh, it will just waste paper and they will be of no use you just want to print that particular page that you have updated which is this one so you will go to this arrow click on it and then say print current page and you can see it is the current page that that has been selected and the moment now I, I click print it's going to print out that information so let's go back to editing of that so you can agree with me that this template puts your lesson plans together in one document in one document the template that I have for you will not have this uh, extra information here because this extra information I had added it for my own personal use because each and every time we give an exam we usually pass control sheets around so I'd like to have uh, to take a photo or, or even scan the control sheets and then insert it in this page so that I can tell the students who sat for the exam and those who missed the exam so the lesson plan template that I'm going to avail to you does not have this tab here the exam control sheet it will just have the various forms starting from form 1 form 2 form 3 and form 4 and each one of the forms has 10 topics and the way I have named the topics is from number one all the way to 41 I have used the physics syllabus where we have 41 topics so you can see that in form one I've got topic number one up to topic number 10 when I go to form two I, st I start with the topic 11 all the way to topic 20 and so forth even in form 3 now I start with the topic number 21 until I get to topic 30 so this way you have all the topics named or numbered the way they are numbered in the actual syllabus like you can see in form 4 I have all the topics from now 31 all the way to 40 one so this template is quite easy to use it puts together all the information all the lesson plans that you might want to make in your teaching career and it puts them together in a document of 256 pages now these pages are likely to increase because when you click on a blank lesson plan for example when I go to the second lesson plan here which is concept 1.2 when I click on it you find that it occupies a very small space but the moment you start entering information into this space these spaces are likely to expand at and it might spill over to the second page so that one is not a problem so when you print you might print out uh, one page or even two pages for instance when I'm here you will agree with me that the moment I start these spaces start expanding they might go beyond this particular point here and it might spill to the other page so the pages are likely to increase but that is not a problem because since it got a navigation here you are able to locate what you need at any one time so I'm um, availing this lesson plan template for a very small fee for supporting my channel so if you are interested in getting this lesson plan template 
just get in contact with me using the email be below and I'll mail it to you. Thank you for listening to me and stay safe.